two years ago, Mercida Hesta suffered his first loss fighting for the IBF lightweight title. Now he wants a crack at redemption, but he must get a win tonight in our main event to get back into position. This heavyweight stands nearly seven feet tall. His name is Tyshawn. He's known as the man with the knockout punch. He makes his pro and U.S. debut next on Golden Boy Live on Fox Sports 1. Tonight, we are in the city by the bay, San Francisco, known for its picturesque views and its cool summer nights. And let's not forget the historic Golden Gate Bridge built back in 1937. And the Bay Bridge, which connects Oakland to San Francisco. Well, the action will certainly be hot tonight in our main event. Mercedo Hesta steps into the ring against the 14-year veteran Luis Arceo. We are inside Longshoreman's Hall here on the north side of San Francisco by the war. This venue holds a little over 1,200 people. They are ready to watch the fights. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Custer alongside my broadcast partner, Paulie Malinaji. And Paulie, another intriguing fight card tonight. We've got a seven-footer from China making his pro and, you, of course, U.S. debut here tonight. But in our main event, we've got Mercedo Hesta, who really wants to get back into that lightweight title picture. But he needs a win here tonight if he wants to make that happen. Yeah, yeah, you know, after taking the defeat to Miguel Vasquez in a shot at the lightweight title, he kind of had to reassess his career, re reassess his team. So he went back to train with his father, who had always been around but had never really been the head trainer. So he went back and made his father the head trainer. He's had a comeback win since after taking six, 16 months off. And now looking for to continue that momentum. And this is his second fight on the comeback. We'll see how it goes. And it's also a second fight inside this venue. Of course, he fought last year in 2011. Let's take a look at our entire fight card here tonight. Guess Hesta, Arceo, they are in the main event our co-main well it's the san francisco kid jonathan chicas taking on the unbeaten emmanuel robles it could be the fight of the night folks but we are going to start with the heavyweights and we have a mountain of a man in taishan from china taking on alex rosman paulie Walk us through the numbers. What stands out to you? What that stands out is his name, Taishan. He's named after a mountain in China, the highest peak in China, so, uh, as far as what they told us, Mount Taishan. He's seven feet tall, and in just a 16-foot ring, he's going to be quite an imposing figure for Alex Rosman to deal with. Well, take a look at Taishan, as Paula just said. Seven feet tall, former Thai boxing champion, says his goal is to become the Yao Ming of boxing here in the United States. Both men are in the ring. Let's get the official introduction. Here's Joe Martinez. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our first round tonight. Four rounds in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, finding out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks, he weighed it officially 255 pounds. Tonight, he enters the ring for the ninth time as a professional. Hailing from Moline, Illinois, here is Alex Rosman. And next, his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red trunks, trimmed in gold, he weighed in officially 287 pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut and joins us from Beijing, China. Here is the Great Wall, Taishan! <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Ed Coyantes. Okay, you receive your instructions in the dressing room, get your commands at all times, protect yourself. Remind you when I say stop, you stop. Touch clubs, let's go. Okay. All you have to do is take a look at the height disparity between these two, Paul. This is unbelievable. You know, and Rosman at six foot three is not a little a guy. A small guy at all. Yeah, I mean, he's a pretty big, imposing guy himself, but next to Tyshawn, he's... It's unbelievable that the, size, this, the height and size difference. Here we go. This is round one. These guys are going for Tyshawn making his pro U.S. debut. It's Alex Rosman. Rosman in the black trunks. And Rosman can't stay out right outside like this. He's got to either be all the way out or all the way in. Seems like he's, he's 
He's trying to move around, but he's got to make a decision as far as is he going to get in the chest of Tyshawn or he's going to be all the way out. Because you don't want to stand, stand at that exact point where Tyshawn can get all the leverage on his shots. Well, he talked a lot in our prior meeting that watching tape he saw of Tyshawn, he felt like he opens up. He wanted to work his body, get on the inside of him. But he realizes that Tyshawn has tremendous knockout power. And one of the things you have when you have a guy, especially who has that MMA Muay Thai background like Tyshawn has, is teaching him to learn how to throw a correct punch. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he's got to get his balance right. And his stance is good. His stance was really good considering he comes back from that Muay Thai background where you stand a little bit different, where you have to worry about kicks and you have to give kicks. You know, uh, Tyshawn looks pretty comfortable in that boxing stance right now. Matter of fact, even when he backs up, you know, at times he's all balanced a little bit, but he's, he's pretty nimble. Halfway through the first round, you can see that stiff jab of Tyshawn already doing damage to Rosman as he comes in. Yeah, you can tell Rosman didn't like the way that one felt. He ran his way in and smothered. Tyshawn starting to establish that jab, which for a guy his height, oh, obviously... That's like a power punch. Yeah, it will become like a power punch, and also it'll establish some kind of rhythm. Rosman seems a little frustrated now, trying to rush in again, and Tyshawn pushed him down there. Minute left here in the first round. I'll tell you, man, sometimes you parry the guy's jabs when they jab at you, but I don't know that Tyshawn's jab might be so heavy you can't even parry it. You may have to either slip it or, or, or it's going to go right through your glove, and... He can't even parry it. It'll be interesting to see how oh, Rosman again. Yeah. Gets through there as he tries to make his way in. And he does connect with a left hook. And just barely, and that's it, the frustrating thing, you know. To hit him, you got to get in his wheelhouse. And it, it's also hard to reach him when you do get close. Because at 6'3", Rosman is about nine inches shorter than his uh, Tyshawn. There's oh, a left hand that dropped from a jab. Five seconds left in the round. This broadcast of Golden Boy on Fox is brought to you by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Masfina, and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team, Jessica Rosales. So Tyshawn the fighter stands seven feet tall, 287 pounds, and Tyshawn the mountain is the most climbed mountain in China. Now guys, from the foot of the mountain to the top, it's more than 7,200 steps. It takes the average person anywhere from seven to 12 hours to climb, but that's not why he picked that name. He actually did that whole climb in four hours. And top the feeling he had was indescribable like what he would feel at the very height of his career he's been using that name for two years now and he says he hopes that his name will be just as famous as that mountain Thank you. he's right you know, Tyshawn, he's really dong, but he took on that Tyshawn name once he climbed that mountain two years ago and, and a knockdown with a jab and you could see that jab was bothering Rosman Finally, it was able to actually take him off his feet. There's a straight, stiff right hand by Tyshawn. Tyshawn just missed with a couple of right hands this round, but he's coming out throwing a thing a little bit more offensively. Let's see if Rossman can deal with it or at least even smother the work of Tyshawn, because I think Rossman would be better served to get in the chest of Tyshawn and try to work inside there. Well, he, he said that was the game plan again. As that one's called a push. Well, Rosman's on a five-fight losing streak. He's been stopped in four of those fights. But he just loves to fight. Former MMA guy. Oh, just wants to fight, he says. These guys go toe-to-toe -to -toe here. And he's trying. Pick it up in the second round. He's trying. He yeah. got, you got to give Rosman some credit for the effort. You know, Rosman's a former bodybuilder. And there's another jab that drops him. He also looks out of breath and tired. Let's see, let's see how much longer he lasts here. He is definitely sucking wind here in the second round. Almost at the halfway point. Again, another jab that drops him back, and he goes. 
He calls that one a push. I don't know if that was a push. That looked like some shots landed there. Let's see what happens now. Rossman might have been able to use that break. Let's see. Rossman just coming forward, pressing the action here in round two. I think that's his best bet, you know, trying to push forward, trying to back uh, Tyshawn up. Let's see if Tyshawn can work off the back foot. And finally, Rossman lands a shot. Yeah, he lands a left hand. Thing about Rosman, he's sucking wind and throwing all these haymakers. It's only gonna make him more tired. Let's see what happens if, if Tyshawn does win. Here's oh. a right hand that you just called it, Paul, Paulie, and drops him right on the top of the head, and that's it. Tyshawn victorious in his professional. In the U.S. debut. He says his goal is to become the Yao Ming of boxing here in the United States. And a great pro debut. It looks spectacular. The crowd seems to love him. And uh, certainly an imposing figure. And uh, show the punching power to back it up. Referee Ed Galante has just told us the reason why he stopped the fight was because Alex Rosman told him he was done. That's why he stopped the fight. Oh, you know, it's multiple knockdowns. You can see Rosman sucking wind. He was tired. Just kept, he couldn't take the punch, punching power of uh, Tyshawn. In the end, I, uh, you know, a good stoppage. You guys, two and six. At this point, you know, uh, it was uh, certainly a good stoppage, well-timed. And Rosman knew it. And you might ask, what is this guy that tall doing in boxing? He said at 14, China, the country put him in a special training for basketball. He said, I just didn't like it. I like the fight. That's why I became a boxer. You know, he looks at Yao Ming as the example he wants to follow to get the notoriety in the States. But basketball wasn't for him. He likes to fight. Let's take a look at the, the first knockdown here from the last round, the first round. And again, just a... He's a different angle. They found the nose. Wow. And just the momentum and the power. And that's the jab. Imagine hand from this yeah, guy. Yeah, and a couple times he did that. Yeah. Here's Rosman trying to create some momentum there. But again, Tyshawn throws a short right hand on the inside. And I think a combination of the, ability, the inability to take the punching power. Tyshawn will score that knockdown right there. It is again. Just a massive guy with some real power and uh, hard to deal with. And when you're trying to push a guy this big around the ring as well, like Rossman was doing, that will also fatigue you. Well, tonight's CompuBox stats, they're brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com, Draft Fighters, Track Stats, and Win. And you can see Daishan, of course, landed the heavier, powerful punches. Let's get the official time of this stoppage. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the official time. One minute, 58 seconds, round number two. Referee Ed Coyantes puts a halt to the contest for your winner by KO victory, the Great Wall, Tyshawn. Great wall indeed. Says he does 2,000 sit-ups a day. He's in phenomenal shape. How are you going to get guys to fight him? You know, it's going to be hard because, you know, you see the size of him and the punching power. It's going to be hard to get guys to, uh, you know, step in the ring with him, especially on the way up where you're looking for opponents where he can learn and, 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 and get better along the way. It's going to probably cost the promoters and the managers a little bit more money to get opponents in the ring because uh, they won't fight him for the natural money that they're, uh, they're used to making. Well, Tyshawn victorious in his pro and U.S. debut. We are just getting started. We're in San Francisco. Coming up, some welterweights. Jonathan Chicas from San Francisco. We'll be back.